welcome back. You guys have been requesting for me to actually check out these Arabians. So we're gonna be checking out these brand new generation three Arabians. We're gonna start right here with this beautiful gray Arabian. Oh, they're just so cute. They're just really adorable. I always wanted like even the older generations of the Arabians in Star Stable, but I never purchased one. And then when I found out they were coming out with like an updated version of the Arabian, I was like, whoa, okay. Perfect. Silent air. Wait a minute. Is that like a fart name? All right, let's push the random button a few times on here, even though I already know what I'm going to name my horse. Ooh, milk guard. That's not bad either because this horse is very milky. Brass runner. Lost rain. Sugar finder. That name is absolutely perfect. Oh, and Star Stable did add a little update. Just in case you didn't know, they added way more names, including adding like a blank space so the horse's name could literally just be, you know, whatever you pick first. And they also added some suffixes like you can do sugary... <laughs> but I think Sugar Finder is the perfect name for this horse because this horse always knows where the sugar cubes are. At least that's what it's going to be like in my Star Stable world. This is the Sugar Finder. Hello, Sugar Finder. How sweet. So here we have Sugar Finder. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Oh, who's already going and looking for food, trying to find that sugar. What is that? No, that's potatoes. Sugar Finder does not want the potatoes. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Okay. Right there, already finding things like a cup of coffee. So here's the horse at the walk. I think they did a really good job with these. Let's see the trot, pick it up. Oh, nice, easy, smooth gait. Oh, found some very sweet sugary apples. All right, Sugar Finder's gonna eat those, of course. See the horse at a canter. Again, nice and easy, little flowy bit of the mane there. I love how the ears go back. Let's see a gallop. All right, I guess the only thing I wish that they had done was they had added more like kind of uh, like the tail kind of going up a little bit, you know, like which is characteristic for Arabians. And let's do a hard, hard stop. Okay, so they kind of do like a little jump stop. Oh, what is that? Is that a bag of peanuts? Oh no, that's a bunch of dog food. Okay, no. Oh, but there's something here. Oh, a sugary soda has been found and an apple. Of course, Sugar Finder is going to eat that. Very, very sweet. I'm in love. I'm in love with the Arabians. I mean, how can you not love an Arabian? They're a beloved breed for a reason. So there's the default mane. Oh, they become like even whiter, like more of like a white mane with the other two colors. So if you wanted to kind of get rid of some of that gray, then here's the short mane and braided. Wow, that really changes up the horse's look. I don't know, for some weird reason, I'm getting like old time like George Washington hair. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now a Bay Arabian I think is so stunning especially because they've got like those small legs and like you know the Arabian small muzzle like a Bay looks so incredible on that breed. Tsunami Knight. I've got a perfect horse for the name Tsunami so I'm gonna click random. Diced Sand. Dice Party. Hairborn. I mean I gotta use the name Bay so Bay. We can do Bayborn. Bay Lee. Bay Lee. Here is beautiful beautiful Bailey. I love the little dark line right on the top of her back. I'm just so in love with a Bay Arabian. So it's just like not fair how much I love this horse. It's really, really sweet. All right, let's have her just kind of trot now. Just kind of trotting, trotting in the grass and do a slow down. There we go. Do a little canter. All right. And then pick it up to a gallop. Yeah, there we go. And then we will do a hard stop. There we go. I love the little jump that they do. Let's have her jump over some things like this log. Whoop. Yeah, I really wish their tail would just kind of like rise behind them. But they just have like the sweetest expression. Let her jump these benches over here. Can she do it? Oh, it's a big jump. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Okay. Now she's just standing on the bench. Okay. All right, sorry, Bailey. Let's have her go in again. Big jump. Oh, no, she can't. Too high of a jump. Come on, jump the table. All right, okay. There's the beautiful bay. Let's see the different main styles. So here's the default, short, braided. And then the other two styles look pretty similar. You might as well just stick with the default. And then you can see she's got like the cutest like little star with like a little tiny baby star on her forehead and like that little black kissy spot right on her muzzle. Now the dappled gray. This one is so beautiful too. What? Unicorn hype? Oh, that name is so good. That name is so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that one for another horse. Chunky Log, Star Kid, Iron Ruby, Glory Weather, Spider Future, Ocean Mist. Oh, that's gonna be the perfect name for this horse. Now we've got my beautiful beach horse, Ocean Mist. Woo, perfect for trail riding on the beach. All right, so let's go ahead and slow him down. Nice little canter and a even slower canter. <laughs> nice trot and a walk. Oh, so pretty. Hard stop and a rear. 
The dapples on this horse look pretty realistic. They look really good. I mean, a dapple gray. I love a dapple gray, and these ones are so dappled. So I love that they actually put all the details in to get the dapples to look so realistic. So if you pick the other hairstyles, this kind of makes it a little bit more of like a lighter gray. And then we've got the braided, which makes it very, very dark gray. So cute. And then if you do the shorter mane, it makes it like, like a gray black. Now what are we gonna name this gorgeous Palomino? Hmm. He is beautiful. We've got Magic Luck, Peace Variant, Glow Voice, <gasps> Honey Kiss. Oh, look who we have here. Now we've got Honey Kiss. Gorgeous, dreamy, like that true rich Palomino color with that creamy mane and tail. High stockings, very, very beautiful. It's hanging out here where the little beekeeping is done. And we'll just have him just kind of trot and canter around to see just how gorgeous he is. They did a really good job with these horses. Have him jump and stop, oh, he's rearing. Let's have him stop again and stop. Oh, okay, he doesn't He doesn't wanna do a hard stop. Come on, hard stop and stop. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and look, and look who else is here. There's Sugar Finder, I told you. They always know where to find all of the sugar. And right now, it looks like they're trying to get the honey. Let's see the mains. We've got these ones, which kinda all basically look the same. Braided, Honey Kiss looks really good with the braided. And the shorter mane. Still waiting for the day that Star Stable makes the main changes free. That would be awesome. All right, now we've got this one. I mean, this coat pattern, right? Oh, so, so, so beautiful. And like, just the way that like her eyes are, she's just amazing. They did a great job. The coat color is really, really unique. So let's see what random names we've got here. Coyote Man, Vanilla Clear, Lost Trip, Ro, Ro Boulder, Yule Silver. That would be a great like holiday name. Ooh, like if they ever made like that Yule Goat available as like a horse that you can purchase. Oh, Yule Silver would be really cute. Frost Rose. Wait a minute, we're, we're in the bushes, we're in the bushes. Oh, there we go. Let's say hello to Frost Rose. One of the Arabians with one of the most unique coat patterns. The coat literally looks like it's been frosted. And then the face is just so beautiful too. I just love everything about this horse pretty much. This one might be one of my favorites out of these kind of like revamped Arabians. I can't believe like how soft and beautiful the trot is. And a gallop, can't forget a canter. These horses just there we go. Nice and easy canter and hard stop. Oh, we got, we got a rear instead. Run to the flowers, run to the roses and stop. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I love that. Especially like this extra like frosty white patch right there on her back. Beautiful face. I mean, Arabians just have like irresistible faces that just make you instantly fall in love with them. They're like heart melters. That's how I feel about Arabians at least. All right, let's check out the main styles. So short mane, braided. Here's the front there. You can see just how high up that blaze goes. And then these styles, they all kind of look a little bit similar to me. So you might as well just stick with the default mane. Very cute. Next, we're gonna check out the chestnut. This one I had the hardest time picking out a name for her. So let's click the random button just a little bit here. Time joke, alpha harmony. These names are so good. Book box, quest pearl, tea crush, classy visitor. I think with this one, I'm gonna try out just having just a one name. I could name her classy, chocolate, taste. I need to remember these names. That would be perfect for a brown horse. And for some weird reason, I like the name Tulip for her. I thought Tulip was really cute. Tulip. Plain and simple. All right, who's hiding in the flowers? Well, of course, that's gonna be Tulip. She's just here in the garden sniffing the beautiful, well, you know, tulips. Here she is at the walk. Look at how they did her back stockings. Like one is really high and then one kind of almost looks like a sock from this angle, but then it's kind of two double stockings in the back at this angle. Let's have her trot. Oh, wait, no, okay, she wants to... There we go, trot and canter around. Their canter is like so slow and easy. And jump, oh, and then a gallop. There we go, nice. Oh, it's really nice how her hair kind of like fades out to a little bit lighter. And then of course the marking on this horse's face, that really bold, bald face blaze where it like goes into her eyes a little bit. That's a pretty nice horse. There's a look at her mane up close. And then, oh, you can go like solid kind of a chestnutty, braided. You can see her pattern on her face and short mane. The last beautiful Arabian to check out is located in Fort Pinta. And that is the all black Arabian, Chunky Man, Garden Step, Eclipse. Perfect. All right, here we have Eclipse emerging from the bush. I mean, what more can I say? This horse is dreamy, just like all the other ones, just in that solid black color. No markings on the legs. We just have like one star right there on their forehead. Have them like kind of gallop through the woods and hard stop and rear. 
This one's just absolutely lovely too. We can look at the main styles again, kind of similar with like the longer styles. Then we've got the short mane and then the braided. You can see the star perfectly on their forehead. Now something that's very special to just this new Arabian breed is if you press space bar, you can see all the horses do this like rear and then kind of stepping. So you can see all of them doing it here. How cute is that? I love that they added that in. Oh, kitty. Wait, I'm getting distracted. So there are all the new Arabians that they have released so far for the new generation three. I think they're dreamy and beautiful. Of course, don't ever feel pressured like you have to buy horses in Star Stable. They all do cost real money and Star Stable releases a lot of horses. So always just pick out your favorites or don't pick out any and just enjoy the game. There's no rules. There's no wrong way. I totally understand that these horses are expensive. I know you guys said you like how I review things and I love checking out the horses. So I hope you guys found this review very, very helpful. They all are incredibly dreamy. If you get any of these horses, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Or if you have the old generation of the Arabian, I still want to check out the older model. You guys are so awesome. I hope you are having an amazing day. If your day is not going very well, please know that I'm thinking of you and I'm sending you all of these hearts. Let's all be positive together. Love, hearts, hugs, horses, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.